Glad those were just rumors. Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke mm. forecasts the weather, but Kristen, there is no way to forecast an earthquake. No, absolutely not. And so I, it caught me off guard in bed this morning, of course. What about you guys? Absolutely, yes. Woke me up. At first, I thought it was wind and hail, Kristen. Oh, it was just so scary, but we did get some wind. We might see some hail tomorrow, so you're not too far off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no earthquakes in this forecast. So let's go ahead and get to what's happening out there right now. And you will see that we continue to see the clouds rolling in. So it is going to be quite gloomy around here for a while. And we're going to be dealing with some showers on and off for the next couple of days at least. So uh, that's what we're dealing with right now. Uh, we do have shower activity down in southern Utah, east central portions of the state as well. And you can also see some of those showers uh, pushing into portions of the Wasatch Front. So just some rain at this point. We're not going to be anticipating any accumulating snow for the Wasatch Front, but occasionally, uh, like tomorrow morning and potentially overnight tomorrow night, we might see the rain switch over to snow briefly. Uh, we do have winter weather advisories for places that will see accumulating snow, and that will be in the Wasatch Mountains south of I-80, over in the Uintas, our central and southern mountains. And we're talking uh, maybe another four to six inches in some some of these areas uh, that continues through the overnight tonight. We'll see another piece of energy coming through tomorrow uh, that will bring in more snow showers during the day tomorrow. And then potentially, especially out east, we could see more snow added by early Friday as well. So future radar, this is how things are going to play out for the rest of the night. You can see showers rolling from south to north. Uh, we will have a chance for a little bit of snow for the Wasatch back tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling there in Par Elise Canyon, you may run into a little bit of snow early on. Uh, best chances would be between about sunrise and 9 a.m. Uh, you can see the heaviest stuff is in far eastern Utah out towards the Colorado border, though. And then by late morning, you can also see some of that snow trying to expand out towards uh, the Evanston area. So along that stretch of I-80, we might run into it. Uh, down towards Beaver and the Cedar City, we also might see a little bit of snow to get things started tomorrow morning. And then we head into the afternoon and temperatures warm up. So it'd be too warm for any snow. But notice the oranges and reds that are showing up there along the Wasatch Front. So tomorrow afternoon, we could see some heavy showers. And don't be surprised if you see some hail in some of those showers tomorrow uh, with the dynamics in place. And we could also see some of that down in Washington County as well. Uh, so unsettled weather for tomorrow. This is a look at the temperature right now. We're at 46 degrees. Tents will stay above freezing tonight. We will have temperatures tomorrow starting off like in the upper 30s and then uh, we'll have that chance again for a mix of rain and snow a heavier shower may briefly change to all snow in the morning and then highs tomorrow only in the mid 40s so it will be a chilly day uh, snow totals as i mentioned we might grab another four to six inches uh, in some of our mountains for a total of six inches and in some of the locally uh, locally heavier spots we could see maybe up toward towards a foot there so your forecast for tomorrow morning upper 30s and low 40s snow for the wasatch back developing out towards Southwest Wyoming as well, and there's a chance for a rain snow mix for the Wasatch Front. Into the afternoon, temperatures will top out in uh, the middle 40s for many of us, so it will be a chilly day, and we will continue to see scattered showers. Your seven day forecast for southern Utah shower chances continue Friday, but the weekend is looking better. We're back to the low to mid 60s, and we should see nice weather going into early next week. Not a huge warm up by any stretch, but we will see warmer conditions as it looks right now for the weekend. Northern Utah, same pretty unsettled and a little gloomy out there for the next couple of days a rain snow mix this weekend we will see increasing chances for sunshine and we'll try to get those temperatures back into the upper 50s and low 60s as we go into the weekend so not looking too bad for the weekend it's just typical march like weather out there